Hello and welcome back to the North, the most peaceful realm there ever was, or will be. We rule Bravos, and I'm very happy about that. Currently my son, Edwin, is the king of Bravos. His lovely wife, uh, Branna Dustin, is looking after him there. It's very interesting. My other son, Torrent, he... Uh, what does he want? Where's Ambitions again? Does he not have an Ambition? I don't know what, where are Ambitions? Sorry, it's been a little uh, while. It should be around here, but he doesn't appear to have any. So good, good for him. He's just ambitious, ambitiousless. He's married to a lady, Ars uh, Mormont, and uh, good, good for him. We have an open council position: the Senchal and the Justice. Uh, that'll be our hand of the king, which we can give to any of these individuals here. There is my brother Donna, who I really get on with a lot. So we're going to give the position to him. And then there is my Master of Laws, and the best man for that position is Robin Locke, my friend, so he can have that. Edwin Brastark, your house uh, needs an heir, if you could. You, of course, have a sister. She was unmarried. What do we need to do with you, Daisy? She's 16. She should be, uh, could be, I should say, married. Um, there's nobody really of the North who is worthy of her. She's a giant, bit of a lunatic, though. Just a claim to the House of Bolton. Let's see. Is there any good houses with a unmarried bachelor at the moment? No. Well, there is a ha the House of Paul, and he's a very good diplomat. Look at Ellard Paul. Would you like to marry Daisy Brastark? I think that's a very good match. Terrific. How's my sister doing? My sister is very happy as the Lady of... Uh, down there. She's a Lady Paramount, however. The entire South has been engulfed by these Dragon Lords, this, this Aegon Targaryen. We currently do have a truce with him, but he does still have a dragon. So the truce isn't too useful at the moment. There are two members of his family, him and his son. His son is ugly and uh, alive. We can't really do much about it. He himself is currently leading troops in Duskydale, just trying to do some nonsense over there. I just, I wish for all of their dragons to be gone. We do still hold the twins, so I'm very happy at that. Lord Frey is, uh, honourable. <laughs> That's one way to put it. But yes, uh, let's continue with this game here. There's no need to be so fast at the moment. Except, excellent, the House of Paul, the heir of House Paul, a future useful guy, is now married to my dearest cousin. Very good, Elard Paul. Congratulations. It would be good for the House of Paul to actually gain some land over here. Do we? I don't think we did. Nestorius, why are you? Of course, we gave it to uh, random family members of all of the best, or not best, strongest houses. Oh, House Paul does have a uh, a relative over here. Very good, Burley. Yes, but then there is your duchy here. You. Hold the Glover and the Manly. Why, why do you hold all these? You should not. I guess maybe he gave them to him. He made a mistake if he did do that. So, uh, yeah. I suppose we can ransom more prisoners. Who do we have in jail? We have... Lord of the Andal Coast. We can't actually ransom him, so we'll keep him for now. We could ransom these other two halves. We will uh, attempt to get some gold out of them. Excellent. Could abdicate. Could go on a tour. Could do many things, but we are... We're happy for now. Kind... We're a bit of a drunk. We could go for some drinks, maybe. As we ransom prisoner again, you can have your other daughter. Sure, why not? As long as you are... Well, not daughter. Whatever relative she is to, you can have her. As I would much rather have the money. What is this? House Glover is attacking the Lord for his claim on the Blue Hills. No. No, you're not allowed this land. I command you to end your war at once. Very good, Lord Glover. Good man. Special actions available. We can set our crown focus to Winterfell, and I will do that. Do we currently have a truce of you? We do not currently have a truce of the Iron Throne. My friend Robard has invited me to a grand banquet. Sure, I'll, uh, I'll attend. Let's go over and uh, hang out with this man. 
Means he'll like me more. He already is my friend, but... Like us more is always a positive. My other brother, of course, the Lord Commander of Night's Watch. Are there other Starks at the board? There should be. I can't remember if we did send somebody or not. Important decisions available. Uh, what would that be? Hold a melee, of course, but we will not do that just at uh, just for now. Command you to end your war as well. Yes, I shall. Nothing I can do, apparently. Why? What, what is he doing? He is attacking him to overthrow the monarchy of Bravos. He has 300 on men. You have 35,000, so I'm not... Oh, no, that's me. Uh, my son? How many men do you have? 300 odd. Ah. 300 odd against 300 odd. I'm sure he's going to get his men a bit faster. He, uh... Make him keep the swans, perhaps. <laughs> perhaps that would help. No, I guess there's not much I can do if I'm being refused here. It does only have that. Well, he even lost this. He just lost all the sweet water. It, it is a shame. It is. It shouldn't have happened, but I'm sure he'll get around it. Excellent, we are good friends with that individual there. Good. Prince Rickon of the North. Excellent, so Prince Rickon has joined on their side. Who is Prince Rickon? Prince Rickon... Did you mean the Night's Watch, Rickon? You do. The Night's Watch has joined against the Bravosi Uprising. Of course they have, leaving a good opening for this man here, this Forrick Tall Talker. Do I have any rivals? I don't. Any friends? Well, uh, there's no need to be dueling people then. Lord Harif has told me, uh, has sent me a. Wait. No, he has told me of a letter containing fabricated evidence of a plot to have him arrested and banished. The letter was sent by Lord Hullen, who is undoubtedly trying to incite revolt against the man. Lord Hullen of the Walkswood. Yes, you've been a little bit of no good, haven't you? Your loyalty will not go unrewarded. Yes. What? What, what is this, Helen? He can be in prison. He has done a lot of nonsense. Let's send some men to his keep at once. I'm sure you'll be more than up for helping, won't you, my lord? Let's uh, choose men from all of the bordering estates here and send them into the Wolf's Wood at once. How many men do you have at Wolf's Wood? You have two odd thousand. Excellent. Let's see what we can get out of all of these bordering areas, because we, uh... 2,800. Excellent. We'll march them over to his capital at once. His keep has... fewer men in it. So we'll march them over. Apparently I'm in command of some of these fools. But Lord Glover, he needs to be taught a lesson, so we're going to go over to his keep and we're going to see what we can do. I'm a just man. We must do what is right. My niece Rachel Stark has been imprisoned by King Edwin of Bravos. Why? She's been held in a dirty black cell. What? Why? Why is Jorah's daughter, married to Lord of Dustin, arrested? This is unacceptable. Could plan to rescue her. Can I not? Ransom her at all? No. As for this, we could uh, threaten this vassal. Yes, I will threaten him indeed. This man deserves to be threatened. He has have got his army up to 2,600. Whereas your forces are still only 400 odd. Is there still no way to ask him to stop? Is there a way to arrest him or anything like that? Yes, my son is in quite a tricky situation if the Night's Watch is unable to get over there and help him. With their 10,000 men. But first, we do have to deal with... Uh, oh, the House of Brastark does have an heir. Excellent. Argrel. What a terrific name. We have our men over here. I will lead them personally because I'm around. And we'll pick some other local individuals. Such as Wyman Short and... Uh, I guess... I guess little troops are with us. Actually, let's choose the little and the not. No, there are no not troops. There are no burly troops either. 
Okay, Lord Short, you're more than welcome here. Alright, sir, you are arrested. He has risen his arm in rebellion. That's a shame, but we do uh, have men on his capital at once. We will simply raise the royal troops under the command of... Uh, Robard, Malador, and... Well, Burley, sure. And they all go in and secure... Secure Iron Wrath, excellent, and have the uh, Bolton troops meet up with their lord over in his direction. Excellent, so we'll, uh, we'll secure Iron Wrath. Okay, very good. Yes, I'll make this offer. There's a lot of money for a niece. But I am a kind man. I'm a kind man and she is family, so I will make this offer. Ah. He, uh, my son turned us down now. We're having a bit of a rift with our son, it seems. A shame, because he's... He's our boy. But, uh, you do you, son. Our son is just at court, doing nothing of worth. I hey, need an ambition. I would like the ambition to win this war, currently. That would, uh, make me very happy. Also, if my son could win his war, I'd be very happy with that as well. But the Night's Watch, just... I don't think they can get ships. They lack the money. We could send them a gift. We'll send the Night's Watch a bit of money. We, we are big supporters of the Night's Watch. This is definitely money for the Night's Watch and not for our son here. No, not at all. Excellent, but they, uh, they lost their money basically straight away. Ah, my uh, brother Donna did not like my friend Robard. That's a shame. Donna is currently ill. He has gout. That's a shame. His daughter has a hunchback. Probably too much time at the PC. Right, royal troops have arrived here under command of Robard. So they shall uh, take Iron Wrath. Obligate the vassal? Obligate, of course. These men will move forward to Kingsgrove here. Now, and they will secure it for us. What is this? Carl on a commander. He's. He's nobody. Alright, it's a shame to uh, have to occupy these lands, but. It seems that Master Craigan of Bites Mouth Town, the spy master of Lord Robin of Oldcastle, has been sent to Oldcastle to investigate rumors of a plot. Maybe he should be silenced. Maybe he should. Uh, it is a shame that Northmen have had to die here, but we will move into Lord Glover's castle and we will take it. And put an end to this rebellion. Nice watch, why, why are you there? Excellent. I'm sure he is now ready to surrender. There's no need to take down his cities there. There could be some shekels inside, but... I'm not a greedy man. Lord Robard, are you a greedy man? He is a bit greedy. I'm sure he could talk. He's our friend. I'm sure he could talk us into attacking the town as well. Access. Well, 100% war score is enough. We will take over his land here. Now, how can we punish you? Can we retract vassalage at all? Iron Ruff, perhaps. He's a traitor. Our vassals will not object. Excellent. Iron Ruff, I will take you as a direct vassal. Uh, send him to the dungeon. Let him bend a knee. He'll be reprimanded and a hostage be taken. Or we can send him to the dungeon. Yes. Uh, we'll leave him to rot. Excellent. We have taken Iron Wrath as a direct vassal. So, uh, good for us. Um, what else could we do with him? Couldn't take another one. Could we retract a second vassalage? The Wolf's would, perhaps? He's a traitor and our vassals will not object. What about revoking your title to High Lordship? We could do that. We could do that. But I don't want to give the High Lordship somebody else and lose Iron Wrath. But we could simply have all of these people as individual vassals. No. We'll retract another vassal. And I'll take the wolf's wood, I think. I think we take the wolf's wood. 
But is the High Lordship of the Wolfswood, is it not? It is. So why I take the Wolfswood? You should take King's Grove, Lord Bowl. You could be a very useful man, Lord Bowl. But then the Wolfswood is directly opposed to us. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't matter what it's called. We'll uh, retract the Wolfswood from this man. I'll retract the vassalage of the Wolfswood from you. He's a traitor. Our vassals will not object. Excellent. Now, as for you yourself, you'll be banished to Night's Watch. Enjoy it. Your house remains as High Lords. And I have two new, two sparkly new vassals. Very ambitious, eh? This man is actually blind. Oh, that's a shame. Well, why, why do you feel this way of us? What if I was to make you my cupbearer, you blind man? I do need a cupbearer, though. As for this, we should pick a new ambition. I would like the ambition to... I can't really have another child, can I? Um, Fall in love? Yeah, sure. Let's try and fall in love. And let's try and get these titles filled. So we keep it as swans. We can give to... Uh, Magnar, he is the reason we have this. Uh, we had this war and these two new vassals. We'll give him that their position. And the cup bearer we'll give to uh, Dennis Dustin. Excellent. Right, so shame that we can't uh, we can't directly reward you a bit better, Magnar. We could send you a gift. Yes, let's do that. Excellent. Right, so the uh, Beyond the Wall is now back to its old tricks. Good for them. Right, they do have 2,000 men there now. You actually have an army of 5,000. Ah, good. They do now have forces where they should be able to get together to win this war. Ah, Aegon Targaryen died in a hunting accident. And now we have a non-dragon rider on the Iron Throne to the south. And he inherited all of the uh, treasury, of course. Your Grace, his king, his Grace, your your Grace, his Grace, King Aegon has taken his last breath. May he repose in peace. Now his prince, now his heir, Prince Harry's Targaryen, will take the throne and will rule the Seven Kingdoms henceforth. What can we take? Nothing. Are there any? Uh, Claimants to your area? There is not. Huh. What about the Iron Isles? Are there any claimants that could be uh, stolen? No. I would like to expand my realm. I really would. The Bites would look terrific as a uh, sort of uh, expansion to take this entire cove. There are claimants that we could take, but there's no way we could actually land them. So there's nothing you can really do there. Do you have any claims anywhere? No. No, we'll wait for now. We'll wait, but we will uh, send our Master of Laws to probably to claim somewhere. Perhaps the entire Vale. We'll send him anyway. We'll see if it comes through and works. As for you, could you uh, pacify the province of Winterfell? Very good. Thank you. Well, that'll do for this episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you are enjoying this series. I mean, you've been a bit greedy, this one, taking both Iron Wrath and the Wolf's Wood as direct vassals, but it does give us an extra little bit of strength from these uh, these castles. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. And again, uh, well, goodbye, I guess.